What is up, my people? Welcome back to the channel. I'm your boy, Nassim the Dream. It is that time of the week once again, ladies and gentlemen. We are going to break down some of the newest and hottest tracks that have dropped this past weekend. I'm going to link them all down below to check out for yourselves. But in this video, I'm going to give you my full thoughts on them, and I'm going to give them an official rating. Now, let's get into these new singles. All right, and then we're going to begin off with Calvin Harris with the track Desire, bringing on vocalist Sam Smith. This one is actually one of the better tracks from Calvin Harris that I've heard in a while. Sam Smith on a techno track? is actually pretty cool it actually works in its own way the sound selection is fairly unique the flutes are pretty interesting and you know i feel like this whole track still lacks a bit of dynamic but overall not too bad and then we're gonna bring on jesse Ware, bringing out with the track freak me now but this time it is a new variation with a former member of pop duo moloko iconic dance pop irish singer songwriter rosen murphy very very cool to see this especially with someone as original as rosen murphy joining this track showing a lot of acknowledgement to the one and great jesse Ware. uh the song already by itself is already really really good i loved it on the record and i thought it was super fire and you know i'm not gonna say that rosen has really created something that's vastly improving this track because i already thought it was amazing it wasn't necessarily needed in here but it's definitely nice to hear it's still awesome to really see her on here there's some really cool inclusions on here fun ad libs uh backup vocalizations great disco pop all in all it's pretty cool and then we gotta bring on with this track with le seraphim uh this is a k-pop group i am not too familiar with and the song is called eve psych and the blue bear wife which is a track that already exists but this time it's a rina sawayama remix so I have been missing out because this group is amazing productively and design wise. This is just a great ensemble of techno and electro pop and K pop. This is definitely one of the better K pop discoveries I had in the recent years. And this is just an amazing song. Incredible mix and master finish to the song. The song is already so great on its own, but now you got Queen Arena on here. Bitch, that shit is. Ooh, it's fire fire and then we're gonna go on with Lalaro Carrion on the track 6 p.m. in Malocra uh giving it a little bit of some New York drill type beat influences on here I actually don't mind the beat the 808s and kicks are actually smacking out to the mix uh very hard hitting all around I thought Eladio though sounds very sleepy on here he, he just kind of sounds like he's not really here it's a very mild performance like it just does not sound excited at all to be in the studio it sounds kind of asleep could be better and then how about with this new metalcore track from polaris on the track nightmare really really strong intro i might note the riffs are pretty disgusting i actually had a really good time with them i really do enjoy the guitar work into the song it's definitely to my liking i'm not crazy for the melodic work um to me it's just very generic sounding vocally is not really that enjoyable it doesn't really keep you that entangled with it i feel like this would have worked a lot better they just would have stuck more with the edge and less bliss because overall the song is already super basic like the song structure is like very minimal but i mean overall i don't mind it i'm gonna try it out in the gym and see how much more i could like it but so then yeah all right and then let's just get this track out of the way this new drake and central c song called on the radar freestyle this is hot garbage this is hot stinky dookie hip-hop this is just sound of mud it's mud it's disgusting absolutely awful production guys i lost all focus once i heard those subs like it's hard to even pay attention to drake's freestyle which is already pretty bad and this just sucks central c doesn't help pick up the track at all the production for the beat is just stupid it sucks it's very very lazy this song sucks it sucks all right then how about james blake with the track loading this is a much better transition let me tell you ladies and gentlemen this is a flawless track so i don't know if that drake track made me like this one a lot better and just just was just such a great refresher and just got that disgusting taste out of my mouth but this is some good ass shit right here incredible sound switches i am loving the finish with the sauce sense crazy deep bass onto the song and it just feels so so vibrant when you listen to this it, it james just sounds like he's on a different planet and it's just really good the way he displays the multi-dimensional aspects of the turning points on here because it has like some glossy finishes to it it's ethereal it's ambient powerful enamoring vocal work onto this and using a lot of immersion to really diversify the chops in this effect is very effective and i had a blast with this it's awesome and then we got yet another great piece from carly ray jepson this one is called aeroplanes a uh, great exploration of the imaging for this song it's got some serious 3d ping pong effects that i think were just super crisp they sounded really really good more color than i expected especially on the song and given a lot more room to really work with the uh, 
little instrumental roles that were really given it's pretty simple it's honestly a very simple track it's spaced out very well in my opinion the final cut is pretty impressive i think it sounds very very good productively it is just well groomed and taken care of the full sound output is just great i am not starving for this sound but i still had a great time with my listen and i think you should check it out for yourself all right then we're gonna move on with flow millie on the track fruit loop coming out with a hot and heavy bar to bar energy on this one silly bars spicy bars flexing bars it's a fun track all in all honestly i thought the ideas with the drum sequences were pretty interesting and unique for hip-hop like this not crazy for it you know it's a good effect to the mix to really like you know just spice things up a little bit and try things new uh but you know i think for what they did it, it fits just right very high quality uh sound production on here flow millie getting the green we're gonna move on to this of mice and men track war paint absolutely forgettable generic and i just just thought this track was uninspiring and pretty pointless i didn't like it all right how about with soccer mommy with the track soak up the sun this is a cover of the great soak up the sun track by cheryl crow pretty neat interpretation of the classic of cheryl crow in my opinion i honestly think this is just a very fitting cover all in all for soccer mommy this just definitely fits her, her sound and her tune to its respect and i also think it's somewhat with its respect competes with the original in some ways and i think it just really works on here with her indie rock background and the way her vocalization is going with her undertones with the soft tones she goes vocally with and you know this was already such a great advantage to really help with this cover succeeding and i feel like it did i really did enjoy this and how about brandy carlisle and her special somewhat Catherine carlisle on the track closer to fine this is a brand new bonus track from the barbie album and i thought this was just a gorgeous gorgeous folk ballad i love this very very much their instrumentation is absolutely gorgeous the way it blossoms is just so blissful and colorful it's very very beautiful to listen to i can practically smell the scent of flower gardens onto this track great duet mostly leaded by brandy Catherine, you know she complimented the track with her harmonies mostly she doesn't have too much work in there but it's still good stuff i thought she she had some great inclusions on here and overall this is a beautiful song and it's just a great addition to the record all right then we're gonna go on with lewis the child with the track how high i was honestly pretty surprised with this one as well big surprises on this big list this all right and then we're gonna move on with lewis the child on the track how high this is yet another surprise on this list for me i actually did enjoy this one i think this smacks really hard once it hits the mix onto that drop great uh build-ups on here i thought the bounce feeling to it was re just really rhythmic and just felt very in your face infectious dance vibes all in all great bass design overall i like this track it's a good lose the child track all right then how about we're gonna move on to afrobeat reggae singer rapper burner boy on the track big seven dude is displaying a hell of flow onto the song he is flowing it is such a vibe it feels like it's straight out of the caribbean like i got a coconut in my hand i'm i'm chilling on the beach great weather got water and it's great I, I think it just it fits the vibe it fits it's a great summer weather vibe in the background you know what i mean it's not necessarily background noise it's really nice to listen to but you know overall it's just a vibe all right we're gonna move on with tk mize on the track a ring a ling uh shorty is uh spitting fire on this lovely ass hook she is just killing it dude tk mize is just a fucking unit i had a blast with this one it's almost like in the mix it has like a hint of arabic into it with like the I'm pretty sure that they're like some flute instrumentation in the very background it's very ominous but it works it helps with the dancing a lot i can really like imagine myself doing some belly dancing to this like it's something you probably don't want to see but it, it i see it i see it in my head it's coming out with hella variety that i really did enjoy i really do feel like tk is coming out with some great variants to her music and this one is getting the flame and then how about zed's dad with the track levitating featuring funkin matt and soul edge i like the house direction they're going in sure but this really isn't grasping the audience at all vocally it, it's just very bland monotone melodic work and practically deafening i'm sorry i know that's mean but there's just really no enthusiasm presented on the song a lot of it just really drags on it's such a such a basic track i, I, just, I just don't like it all right then we're gonna move on with this new train smokers track it is called my bad featuring sencia another track that i feel like is almost ruined from drew tagger i sound like such a big drew tagger hater i don't hate drew i love the chain smokers to a t it's just that lately this shit has just been so industry pop and it's just been garbage and um you know i don't know it's a little bit better this time with shinsi on here i think shinsi is a great vocalist and it's nice hearing her on this but i don't know the whole thing just kind of feels like overall like a tiesto ripoff 
doesn't really feel original at all. I'm not a fan. And then how about Spiritual Cramp with the track Nah That Ain't Dub? I think this has great uses and timing of the rock influences that they bring in. Lots of reggae brushing up into the guitar work. It's still really inducing that indie punk type feel aesthetically that they really um, invoke. I really thought the harmonicas that were really used as the lead were had just such a great role into the melodic work of the track. Just a great exploration of what they really wanted to use for this track and what was presented. Giving it this type of alien ethro out of this world calling with the fx that they were using i don't know i thought it was a really nice touch it's very subtle but it, it makes the song feel very unique and i highly recommend you check out the band if you haven't all right and then we're gonna move on with hip-hop r&b artist chica on the track prodigy so yeah i'm honestly feeling a little mild on this i actually love chica to death but yeah i don't know i i just wasn't really digging this she's going on with like a little bit of a, a dark futuristic setting with the song and she's coming in with some tension that generates focus for her rap verse i don't know it just wasn't really hitting for me i, I really don't know why i gave it a couple listens just wasn't really feeling it overall i think it's okay i think you might like it more than me so you should check it out all right then how about apex 10 with the track in a room at 7 f 760 it's, it's, titles are just so weird from him but you know this is just some good stuff some good electronica from him very subtle ambient heavy atmosphere break beat type music i am really rolling with it i thought the progression of the electronica just just leads to a lot of loads of detail and textures and sound effects presented that it just pretty interesting it, it makes for a great uh great adventurous experience i, I really did like this and dude, this song is sick it is this new purity ring and black dresses collab with the track shines this is probably one of the dopest collabs i've heard all year it is exactly what i expected the chaos just unfolding from the hardcore aggression of black dresses to the soft embellishments of purity ring it is just a brilliant mix and fuse of experimental pop and hyper pop incredible it is a ride man it might not be for you it is pretty out there it's out there but it is awesome it is so unique it is amazing and then we're gonna end off this week's singles of the week with the track that i chose to react to it is from the one and only mitski and is on her teaser for her upcoming album and this song is called bug like an angel now be sure to wait till the very end of the video guys to check out my reaction of this track you're not gonna want to miss it and i will give you my official rating right here right now i'm gonna toss it the green go check out why and that is it for this week's singles of the week guys thank you so much for watching the video if you enjoy go and like share and comment down below of what you thought of these tracks do not forget to check them out for yourselves they are all linked in the description down below for you to check for yourselves thank you guys so much for watching i'm gonna catch you in the next one doses